Welcome to another video where I teach you how to play Hive like a champion. This is Randy Ingersoll, author of the book by that same title, Play Hive Like a Champion. The grasshopper is one of the original bugs, is sometimes underappreciated in a hive world filled with expansions. It can sometimes seem very boring and of limited use, but in the hands of an experienced player, it can be put to good use. In this game, White executes a grasshopper crossfire. Grasshoppers coming from multiple directions. Let's see how it comes about and if it's enough to win. The game was originally played on Board Game Arena with me playing White. This was my first game ever against this opponent, Kung Yue Huya. Forgive me if I mispronounce that name. I believe it's Chinese. White starts with a ladybug. And it's interesting to note that more players are starting with the pill bug as an opening bug, as Black did here. I follow with an ant, which does what ants do best, pin opposing ants. Note here that I have an option. I can place a true pin, leaving this spot as a passable black spawn point, or a false pin, removing this spot as a spawn point. I choose the latter. If I choose the former, then this spot would be a perfect spot for a mosquito coming in with both ant and pill bug power. A small black ant farm appears as I bring in my pill bug and mosquito. A perfect example of an ambiguous spider. Which way will it go? Will it attack or will it pin my ant? I sacrifice one ant in order to pin the other black ant. And the spot vacated by the white mosquito becomes a perfect spawn point for the first beetle to enter the game. As the white beetle climbs up, a black beetle spawns to defend the queen, and I have qualified for the win with the beetle cover of the opposing pill bug. The second spider spawns and pins my mosquito while the second white beetle climbs up. The spider is no doubt the weakest bug in the hive. Many players complain about it, the fact that the spider is so feeble, but here my opponent makes great use of both spiders, pinning two of my most valuable pieces. Generally, we think of a pocket as a formation like this one here, four bugs surrounding a negative space, or this one over here, five bugs surrounding a negative space. But note this too is a pocket. A bug which spawns in this spot cannot be pinned. And that's exactly what Black Beetle 2 does. I don't have a mobile ant, but even if I did, it couldn't pin the Black Beetle. Let's look for a moment at the concept of qualifying for the win. I have covered the black pill bug, so I have qualified for the win. But this is necessary to win. It's not sufficient to win. Black cannot use the pill bug to rescue the queen, but will I have enough bugs to pull off the victory? Black, on the other hand, has not qualified for the win. Two white beetles stand in the path of the two black beetles if either of them hope to approach and cover the white queen or pill bug. That leaves the black mosquito. Can it move in for the qualification? If it attempts to use either of the black beetles to climb atop the hive, then it too will be distant from the white queen. There are two spots where it could theoretically gain beetle power from the white beetles. If it goes here, the white queen gets warped out, leaving the mosquito pinned. If it goes here, it gets covered by one beetle, and then when white gets a bug to this spot, either a newly spawned bug or the pill bug moving there, then the ladybug is free, and when the ladybug moves, the mosquito is pinned. If the mosquito attempts to qualify by moving the white pill bug away from the queen, the pill bug instead just moves to here, leaving the mosquito stranded. So right now, black has minimal prospects for qualifying for the win. But back to me. Can I come up with a plan to win? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. 
feel free to leave a comment down below if you'd like. My plan hinges on my grasshoppers. Grasshopper 1 spawns and attacks while Black Beetle advances and gets covered. At this point, note these two spots here and here. This spot is in a pocket and anything spawned there cannot get pinned, while at the same time freeze the ladybug with a fill. Then the spot vacated by the ladybug also is inside a pocket and becomes another spawn point, which would then free the first bug placed here. With this move, the black mosquito retains ant mobility. This spot is removed as a possible spawn point and the black ant is now free to move. But it does allow the white grasshopper to pin the beetle. If allowed to jump unchecked to here, the queen could possibly escape and another black ant become mobile. So white grasshopper 2 thwarts that. Now if the black grasshopper jumps in, the white grasshopper jumps into the kill space, blocks the black queen. So, black pins the white grasshopper. Retaining the black grasshopper threat, so grasshopper 3 comes in. Now, this is critical to the possible success of the grasshopper crossfire. Note how both grasshoppers have angles of attack to the same spot. This one. This is usually a bad thing. But, here, order is important. If this one jumps first, then this one has an angle of attack to this spot. When the black grasshopper jumps into a defensive spot, the white grasshopper jumps in as well, blocking the black queen. And now, rather than freeing the black ant, the grasshopper jumps again, freeing either the beetle or the ant. Playing a little defense here, I pin the black mosquito. Now I'm confident that I won't lose. Black does not have a clear path to qualify for the win. But the question remains, can I win? What do you think? Do I have any chances to win? And then a big mistake. Looking to perform a pen replacement, the grasshopper spawns, but instead, I finally find a beneficial use for one of my spiders. Now if the grasshopper attempts the pen replacement, the white grasshopper is free, and it jumps out to pin the black ant. Note, too, that even though the white grasshopper doesn't have an angle of attack to a kill spot, once the pill bug moves to here, that would be rectified. Black chooses to free the beetle rather than the ant, and this gives me an opening to successfully spawn my last ant. Another mistake. Prior to this move, black led in the ant game, even though it's only one to nothing, it was a lead nonetheless. After this move, worst case scenario is that the ant game is tied, but it really isn't when the white attacks it blocks the black ant in a kill spot to boot. The pill bug creates the line of attack for the grasshopper. Black is running out of good moves but must do something. But before we see what black did, let's look at an option for me. One should always look at possible spider paths no matter how long it might take to get there. Where can this spider go? Let's see if it goes here, 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 all the way around to here, where if left unchecked, it would free the ant. But when black spawns the grasshopper, the white spider moves just because I had to do something. And the game ends with a series of grasshopper attacks. The grasshopper crossfire. And of course, the beetle takes the kill shot. A great game showing the power of the lowly grasshopper. Almost a forgotten bug in the hive. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned something that teaches you to play hive like a champion. Thanks for watching. As always, two videos and the subscribe button are here. Don't forget to click the notification bell. I would appreciate that. I think you would too. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.